Hi guys and welcome back. We are practicing for Math 172, Test 4. We're talking about problems 1, 2, and 3, talking about polar coordinates. All right, so the first problem one, says to sketch the graph of of r equals 6 times the sine of 4 theta. Fascinating. Um, let's see. So let's just remember what sine looks like. Sine starts at 0, goes up to 1, goes down to 0, goes down to negative 1, and then back to 0. So this is 0 pi, 2 pi, and at pi over 2, we have a value of 1. And at 3 pi over 2, we have a value of negative 1. So that's what sine looks like. So we're going to be look, trying to look for arguments of theta that line up with this, okay? So when does this equal positive 1 at pi over 2. So when does 4 theta equal pi over 2? Well, that's any time that theta is pi over 8. Hmm. So, uh, if theta is pi over 8, we're going to get a positive 1. So on our graph of polar coordinates, if say this is pi over 2 and this is pi over 4, so if theta is pi over 8, then we get a value of sine of 4 theta is just 1 and r is 6. So this is going to be here. Um, 6 comma pi over 8. Everybody okay? That's our first point. Now, what if we get to here? We want 4 theta to be 3 pi over 2. So that means theta is 3 pi over 8. Okay, so when theta is 3 pi over 8, which would be here, right? R is not 6, it's negative 6. Fascinating. So we are here. So this is negative 6, 3 pi over 8. Coming back around, we've got to 2 pi. Um, so when theta is pi over 4, right? so pi over 4 goes into here, and we've got pi, which will be 0. So this should be 0. So we've got something like this so far, okay? If you keep going around, um, you're going to get uh, basically two petals in each quadrant, like this. And so we have a total of eight petals, and the length is 6. So that's what the graph of 6 sine of 4 pi looks like. This is problem 1.